Are you new to VS Code extension development? Well, no problem. Let's walk through how to publish your first extension and start showcasing your work to the world. The first step is to get what's called a personal access token from your own organization in Azure DevOps. So you're gonna need a Microsoft account, but let's jump into doing this right now. I'm gonna show you. First, you need to go to dev.azure.com and sign in with your Microsoft account there. Once you're signed into dev.azure.com with your Microsoft account, while well, you can see here, I already have an organization. You're going to want to create a new organization. When you click on that, you'll see a prompt like this where you can create the name of the organization. In this case, I'm using Clarkio demo, choose the region that you want to host your projects in, and then fill out this little captcha and click continue. You'll see this view again, and this is where you want to get your personal access token. You're going to click on the little gear icon in the top right hand corner, user settings, choose personal access token. When you click on personal access tokens, that's going to open up this new view, which you can see here. You're going to click on new token. You're going to give it a name. Let's say VS Code extension. You're going to choose the organization to be all accessible organizations. Give it an expiration that you feel is best for your situation. There's an option called show all scopes. You click on that and you want to scroll down to the marketing section, marketplace section rather, and check the manage button. After that, you can click on create and it will generate a personal access token for you to copy and save that to a safe place so that you can reuse it later. Now that you have an organization and a personal access token or PAT, you need to create what's called a publisher. This is an identity within the VS Code marketplace that can publish extensions. Let's step through doing that right now. So first up, you're gonna to wanna to go to the marketplace publisher management page, which is at marketplace.visualstudio.com slash manage. You sign in with your Microsoft account and you'll see a view like this. I already have extensions published out there. That's why I'm seeing this. Yours will be a little bit different, but you're gonna to wanna to create, click on the create publisher link here. From there, you're gonna enter in basic information about the publisher that you wanna create, the name of it, the ID, and more information. Maybe you wanna have a logo, some details about you, your website, that type of thing. But the key piece of information I want you to capture is what your ID is going to be. Mine is Clark IO or Clarkio, but you wanna capture whatever that unique identifier is so, because we're gonna use that later. Once you're done capturing all that, scroll to the bottom and click the create button. And that will create your publisher account for you. Now that you have a personal access token, a Azure DevOps organization, and a publisher account, let's use that all to start publishing your extension. But before you do that, you should double check a few things. You wanna make sure that your extension is up to par and all tidied up before you actually publish it. So let's take a quick look, some check boxes you can do to make sure you have that all sorted out. First up, make sure you have a readme and fill it out as best you can. Make sure it's cleaned up and has sufficient details for your users so they know how to use your extension. In this case, mine is just a theme that I'm, I created, so I don't have much in my readme. From there, you wanna set the banner background color and set the icon for your extension so that it shows nicely in the extension marketplace. The way you do that, is from package JSON file. You add the gallery banner color. That's the background banner that's gonna show in the marketplace. And then you wanna add the icon too, so that you have an icon set for, that's like a, a theme or the way people can identify your extension visually in the marketplace. After that, you wanna add any other necessary files and details like a license, a change log, and any support details you might have so that people know how to go about getting support when using your extension. Okay, back to publishing. First, you'll need a command line tool from VS Code that's called VSCE. This tool greatly simplifies the process of packaging your extension and publishing it to the marketplace. Once you have that, you can open up a terminal in your extensions folder or directory and run a few commands to get it published. I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so you wanna open up your terminal or command line and go to the directory where your extension is located. In this case, I'm already there in my terminal and I'm ready to go. Now, you need to make sure that you also have Node.js along with NPM installed on the machine. If not, you can go to nodejs.org to get that set up. Then the next step is to install the VSCE command line tool. And the way you do that is through NPM. You're gonna run NPM I hyphen G so that it's globally installed on this machine. And then at VS code slash VSCE. Once you have it installed, you can verify that it is installed by running the following. VSCE hyphen hyphen or dash dash version. And once you see a version printed out to the screen, you know you're good to go. Now what we need to do is log in with that publisher ID from creating the publisher earlier. So make sure you find that where you put it in the safe place and get ready to use it now. So going to say VSCE, login, and then your publisher ID. For me, it's Clarkio. I'm already logged in, so I'm not going to have it do that. But what'll happen for you is it'll say, okay, you need to paste in your personal access token, which you saved from earlier. You're going to paste that into the terminal and hit enter. And then you'll be all logged in and good to go. Just one note before you go to publish here. Are you sure your extension is free of any vulnerabilities? 
You wouldn't want to cause your users to be compromised due to your extension, right? Well, you can feel confident in preventing that when you use Sneak. Sneak is a developer-first security platform that helps you find and fix vulnerabilities in your project. When it comes to your VS Code extensions, it can let you know about vulnerabilities in your open source dependencies and any that are found in your extension code itself, all with a free account and no credit card required to sign up. To sign up for your free account, go to sneak.io in your browser. From there, you'll click on sign up and you'll be presented with this view. You can sign up with GitHub, Bitbucket, Google, a bunch of other options, but I'm gonna use GitHub for my instance here. And once you continue through some of those prompts, you'll be brought over to app.sneak.io and know that your account is good to go. Once you have an account, you can get the Sneak VS Code extension by searching for Sneak in the marketplace and install it. You will then see a logo in the activity bar. Click on that to open the Sneak extension view. There you will have a button to sign into your Sneak account. It's called Trust Workspace and Connect. This will open up your browser to prompt you to sign into your Sneak account and authorize the Sneak extension to use your account within VS Code. You're gonna click on Authenticate and that'll allow you to go back to VS Code and you'll be logged into your Sneak account. After that's all set, you're ready to let Sneak protect your extension. You can view any vulnerabilities it finds in your dependencies via the open source security section and any in your code via the code security section. When you click on a vulnerability, Sneak will provide you with all the necessary details to learn more about it, why it's an issue and how you can resolve it. Now back to publishing your extension. Last but not least, back in your terminal, you're gonna run VSCE publish. You'll get a warning about a repository field potentially missing here. If you want to, you can add that into the package JSON, which we will go ahead and do that right now. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can just choose no. So I'm going to say uh, no on that right now. VSCE publish. And now that's going through the process of publishing it, specifically version 0.0.1. .0 and we can go ahead and monitor to see what's going to happen, how long it takes for that to be published. Then you'll have to wait a few minutes while some checks are done by the marketplace publishing process before it becomes actually public. You can monitor the progress of it at the marketplace management page, which is marketplace.visualstudio.com slash manage, which we showed you before. Once it's done, it should look like this in the management page and searchable in the public VS Code marketplace. That does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with a colleague who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy, safe coding, everyone.